welcome back to the channel. Right now, I'm going to show you a fun little craft idea. This is for all my little bronies and for children who actually enjoy My Little Pony or dressing up because school plays don't provide costumes and we'd rather not spend $15 making a costume for our children for one play. This could also be used for a pony party for, you know, girls or boys who enjoy My Little Pony, but parents that, let's be honest, those pa little paper hats that you pay what, $6 for eight of them, they always end up breaking. The kids don't want to wear them and they're not fun. They always end up in the trash and you just wasted $8. And the cleanup is always a pain in the butt because little Johnny over here wants to use those hats as Look, mommy, I got big boobies! No. I'm going to show you how to make little ponytails. Not the ones that go on your hair, but the ones that actually attach to your pants. So you'll actually have an, a ponytail. Now for this, we're going to use some various yarns we have lying around the house. Alright, these are pretty thick yarns. You can use thin ones too. But these ones you can find over at Walmart or Joann's or Michael's. Usually you can get them on sale for maybe $2 for a bundle. Or if they're on sale, go with the cheaper ones. They're usually a dollar a bundle. And we're going to use these. These right here are those hooks that you hook up on your shower curtain. Alright, they're 94 cents. Big spender, I know. 94 cents, you get 12 of these. A typical birthday party, you're going to have at least, I'd say 12 to 16 kids, maybe 20, depending on how big your family is. So, go ahead, open these up. Now, the best thing about these things, you don't have to buy those little metal hooks, since they actually have a little clasping mechanism. So once you're done, you just put that in there and you close it. So when you know your kid's done or when you're done wearing it, you just push it out and it opens. So it's easy access. So for now, we're going to close it. So just put the little knob inside the hole and it makes a perfect ring. Woo! I want to do that again. Woo! Okay. Now comes for the fun part. If you're hosting the birthday party, be sure to put in your RSVP what the child's favorite colors are. So you could color coordinate tails. So you can't say, oh well, she has my tail or you know, my tail's over there or anything like that. You write down what basically you have your kid draw out whatever color ponytail that they want. You draw a little pony inside the RSVP and have the kid color it in. So, once you get all the RSVPs back, make sure they send them to you, I'll say about within a week before the party starts. So you have plenty of time to get the supplies and to make them. It is very easy to actually make these. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up my colors. I like the red, which is here. Oh, don't want to drop that. I like the golden rod because I want to be a royal pony. So I'm going to have red and gold. But I also want a little hint of blue. But I like the purple. I like that one. That one's pretty. So, what we're going to do is move this off to the side. And using our crafting scissors, like I said, crafting scissors, not fabric scissors. We're going to probably pull out you don't want them to be too long because you don't want them to be caught on anything I would say about six feet so it's three feet and then you uh, pull it in half here so you got the ends here and you just cut now once you have your piece I'm going to do what's known as a latch hook all right it's basically, have you ever seen people make rugs using that little hook thing? We're going to do it without the actual latch hook. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our end that's folded in half. We're going to put it through our, our 
out of the loop here. Take the excess here. And then we're going to put it in between the middle. So it goes right through. It might help if I don't drop the dang ring in the first place. But you know what? I said I leave in the bloopers. I leave in bloopers. I don't care about redoing it. So again, make sure that the ring is in the middle. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Pull the two ends through. And we're just going to pull it tight. There you go. So now you got two pieces of pony hair right there for your tail. Good thing about this thing here is once you have your hook done, you can pull on one end as hard as you can. It's not going to untie itself. So you won't hear little Jess yelling, Mommy, my tail has broken. All right. They could pull on these things. Look, I'll even pull on one string. There's a little dangly there. It's not going to come undone. So, what you're going to do is you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to fill up this. It doesn't have to be, you know, too exact with measurements because once you put it on, it doesn't matter. It's still going to look like a ponytail. So, it's very therapeutic too. And I kind of just went over top of that one, but that's fine. Just pull that out. Now let's try that again. You're going to need some practice with this. I know some people might not get it right away. And now we have four. So let's say Johnny got invited to the party. And he has three different colors in his tail, like I do. You don't want to fill up your tail with just the single color. So I'm going to stop at three. Three sets here. Now I'm going to move on to the next color. Which is going to be red. Sip that off. And do the same thing. But we're going to put it right next to our gray, blue, purple, whatever you want to call it. Move that through. So we get some stripes going on. Now, I got the white shower curtain rod holders right here. They do come in different colors. Okay, so if you don't like white, they come in clear, they come in gray, white, and beige. I frankly don't recommend beige because it looks kind of like a skin tone and it doesn't really look good on pants. Clear is probably going to be your best option because it actually hides the ring pretty well. So I'm just going to tie that there. Now we're going to do another row of red. Now once we get three on the, of the red, we're going to turn it to the other side and do three going the opposite way. So our gray purple is going to be the marking spot of the top and the bottom. See, I got the gray purple here and I got the red on this side. So now I'm going to put another red here. And then the golden rod's going to be the next one up here. Now, as you can see, I got different lengths here. At the end, we're going to trim that off so it looks pretty even. And again, this is a nice, easy craft idea. Kids will love it because it's something that they can wear that's not going to irritate around their neck or around their face. And it's it's perfect for, you know, kids that want to wear stuff. Like, if they have dress-up parties later, if they want to use it for Halloween, they could use it for Halloween. There we go. And it's a cheap alternative. Plus, it gives the kids something to think about 
before the party instead of like, oh, I'm going to get cake. No, it's going to be, oh, I just designed my pony. And now I'm going to get a custom ponytail that I'm going to wear at the party. Again, if you want to make these and, you know, give them out at the Anthrocon or any kind of brony con, or just give them to your friends. Because, you know, it's 2016 and everybody's being weird. You could have ponytails that you're not spending $30 over at Spencer's for. Those guys are ridiculous. So now we're going to do our goldenrod. Same thing. Three on one side, three on the other. Now I'm going to have other ideas, little crafting projects for different themed birthdays. I have certain I certain projects for uh, Legend of Zelda birthday because they really don't have much for party supplies for Zelda themed birthday parties. They don't usually when it comes to birthday party supplies you get the paper hat, you get the cups, you get the bowls, you get the plates, you get the napkins. And maybe a pinata if you're lucky, if they created one. With these, you can actually make a DIY birthday without spending a lot of money. So if you figure hats, party favors, all the silverware and all the plates and the pinata and the and the tail on donkey or some other game, that's going to run you up quite a bit. Not to mention, you have to keep these kids entertained. If you're at your house, things are probably going to end up being broken. If you're somewhere else, things are still probably going to end up getting broken. Let's be honest here. But with this right here, you could have it at a home party. You could have it at a bowling party. You could have it at a Chuck E. Cheese. You could have it pretty much at any kind of party. Anywhere. And it's not going to get in the way. I mean, yeah, the kids are probably going to be tugging on each other's tails, but that's why they have the little clasp up at the top. Because if it does pull off, you're not breaking it. You just refasten it, and they're good to go. So we're going to put our last golden rod piece up. Now I'm going to show you guys what it looks like right now with the stripes. So when you wear it, it actually will have the stripes going on both sides. So that's pretty neat. And it's nice and soft so that, you know, they're running around. They're not going to hurt anybody by whipping them. And if they want to braid them, they could braid them. All right, that's why they're in sets of threes. So we're just going to push it down a little bit. So we got a nice soft here, like it's all covered. Push it down because we're going to make our last gray up at the top here. And then we are all set to go. That didn't take too long to actually make one of these. Didn't take too much yarn. And all in all, I would say for one of these tails, I would say you maybe spent 35, 40 cents. All right, compared to the paper hats that nobody likes to wear, let's be honest here, we all had to wear them. They're all super uncomfortable. And there's always that one kid that likes to put them on and make them look like boobies, which we need to steer our children away from that because they're five and they should not be talking like that. Thank you, Grand Theft Auto. But we're going to finish that off. last piece and we are set to go now you don't want to cover up the clasp in the back 
just so it's easy to put it on and take it off. So make sure all the yarn is facing downward. You don't want them to flip upward. We're going to open it back up. So right now the opening's right here. Just going to push that out and you just put it on your pants, which I will do now. Take a look at my sexy pants. So find the back ring of any pair of pants that they're wearing. You just put it on and then you close it. And there we have the ponytail. Ta-da! Few cents and you have yourself a party favor. Get a customized one. Easy to make. Kids will love wearing them because they always love dressing up. All right, so that is it. Again, at the end, you get some like extra long pieces. Just go ahead and trim that off. Let me trim those down. Ta-da! There it is. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for our next party ideas, and maybe we'll get into the oatmeal casting. I still need to figure out how I'm going to do that without burning myself. So, till next time, guys, have a wonderful day, and thank you for watching. See ya! I'm going to shoot the camera again. Bye!